Okay, so here we have the composer, and what I've done initially is I've put in all my rooms, and what I'm using is I'm using a matrix switch that has support for 12 rooms and has four Cosatunes media players installed. So here are my different rooms, and I've created an additional room, which I'm calling the equipment room, and that's where I'm going to be putting all my Cosatunes equipment. So because Cosatunes supports SDDP, you'll see that all the Cosatunes equipment is automatically discovered, which makes it really easy to add to your project, and also uh, it will automatically configure the IP information. So let's go ahead and add the switch to our project. And we can use the name Cosatunes AV Switch, that's fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the different media players. And in the discovered name, you'll see that it has player 1, player 2, player 3, player 4. These are the actual names that I've assigned these players in Casa Setup. And it already knows that uh, this player 1 is associated with Source 1 in Casa Tunes. So we don't have to uh, do anything other than just add these media players to our equipment room. So we'll go ahead and add them, and by default it names in Cosatunes Media Player, but I'm going to go ahead and name them the same name as they're given inside Casa Setup. So this will be Player 1. So now I've added all my Cosatunes equipment, and you can see that it's automatically resolved the IP address, and it has um, connected to the Cosatunes um, AV matrix switch. And similarly with our players, uh, you'll see that uh, it's already automatically connected, and it also uh, is telling me where I have to connect this player to on my AV switch. So at this point, the next step is to actually uh, configure all the inputs and outputs on our Cosatunes AV switch. And if you go through the players here, you'll see that it already specifies which audio in connection you should be connecting this player to. So let's go back to the Cosatunes AV switch and let's switch to the connections mode. Okay. And, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to configure these uh, player ones. We're going to tie them to the inputs on this uh, audio video switch this Cosatunes audio video switch. Now, um, as we saw before, when I went into the properties for these players, uh, it shows me which, uh, it t tells me that I've got to tie player one to audio one, uh, player two to audio in two. If, if these media players were not the first sources, but had been sources like three, four, five, six inside Cosatunes, it would have told me to hook them up to audio in three, four, five, and six, and so forth. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, select our audio in one, and we're going to go ahead and connect that to player one. Similarly, we're going to connect audio in two to player two, audio in three to player three, and audio in four to player four. Okay, at this point, I've hooked up all our inputs to the Cosatunes AV switch. Now what I need to do is I need to configure the outputs uh, of my audio switch and, and attach them to the different rooms. Okay, so the easiest way to set up your rooms now is to actually load Casa Setup because what we're going to do is we're basically going to attach the outputs of my AV switch to the different rooms. But I need to know which room goes with which um, output on my AV switch. The easiest way to do that is to actually go back into Casa Setup and go to the Rooms tab. And there you will see a list of all your zones. And these are the this this is the physical order of the zones. So the backyard is connected to room one, to audio out one, room one, the kitchen is connected to room two, the great room connected to room three, and so forth. So using that information, I can now attach my rooms to the different rooms. So my first my first room, room one, was connected to the backyard. So I'm going to go ahead and, and drag from the audio selection output in room one to the first audio endpoint in that room. And then I'm going to connect the audio volume to the same
to the audio volume one uh, in the backyard. And that's configured the room. I then repeat that for each of my rooms. So the next one would be the kitchen, great room, dining room, and so, and so on. Now when I'm done with that, uh, after having configured all the rooms, you can see all the rooms set up here for both the audio selection and the audio volume. And once I've done this, I'm now ready to use Casa Tunes and control it through Control 4.